Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am Random Hero, and here's a video about RetroArch. It is an emulation based program, uh, primarily used for mine, I use it for hyperspin. Uh, I am using it on the NVIDIA Shield. If we go in here, I'm basically just going to show you a couple little things that I used to set it up. Just I was mainly asked um, by someone, and I figured, why not? It's not going to be that much into it because of RetroArch, there isn't much to it as far as how I use it. So what you're going to do, the first thing when you go in here, you want to go to Online Updater. And basically on the core updater is where you're going to update all the cores for all the different systems. So what I did is I basically just went through and updated all of them, made sure they're all up to date. At this point, why not? Because I think they are pre-installed, but just make sure they're up to date on all of them for the different systems if you're using a hyperspin or whatever the case. Uh, the next major thing with this, I mean, you can go through the audio settings and all that stuff as well, which is fine. Um, it's not, you know, I guess key to what we're trying to do as far as setup. Next, you're going to go down to directory. Uh, directory, what you need to do is kind of tell it where your BIOS files are. And these BIOS files are for stuff like PlayStation emulation or... Um, let's say the TurboGrafx CD, stuff like that. So what you want to do is you want to go in and select it. So for me, I have it on a hard drive that's attached to the shield. So as you can see, it's on storage USB drive 2 and then BIOS. So you got to tell it exactly where it is. If it's not pointed to that folder, that system will not work where you're fine, you know, without the BIOS. And I think that's I mean that's pretty much it as far as setup. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot to it, so uh, if you have any other questions, I can try to answer them. But like I said, for me, there wasn't much to it as far as, you know, obviously you can turn off the, um, I think they have where, like the, the what's it called, the layout or, you know, full screen mode, stuff like that. And they have the um, overlays. That's kind of annoying. So you, you probably want to turn off overlay, stuff like that. Like I said, there's not much to it. Um, if you wanted to use it as standalone, you basically what you do is you go down and you select your folder. Uh, obviously, the hyperspin folder is where I'm at. And then go to emulators. And we'll just go to, um, let's say, let's just do NES and ROMs and we'll just do let's just do that one see and it automatically will tell you it'll kind of select which uh, core it wants to use so you can use either one of them obviously with hyperspin you're gonna have it set up for a specific core so we're just gonna pick Nestopia because that's currently the one I use and you can see it fires right up so with the shield all we want to do to exit it it's basically just hit the middle button there, the green one, and it takes you back to here. So we can actually restart the content, close it, resume, whatever you want to do. So if you want to restart the game, whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, like I said, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, so we're just going to hit close. And we're going to hit the A button here, go down here, and bail out on that. Like I said, there's not a lot to it. If you have any questions, I can try to answer them. Like I said, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but um, that's kind of how I went about setting it up. So um, there you go. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if you like it, you know, thumbs up the video and subscribe for more. Thank you.